Hello and welcome to Proper Job Rob. Um, yeah, it's Christmas countdown day two. It's turned into a nightmare. I thought it'd be really easy, even with all the magic box and all that. Yeah, it's not as easy as it seems, is it? I'm thinking, bloody hell, we've only done one day. Yeah, now it's a nightmare on day two. But don't matter, I've got the thing here. 23 days to go. That's to the big event, Christmas and that. I think everyone's looking forward to it. I'm not sure what you can do, but everyone's looking forward to it. So no messing tonight, we're going to go straight into what's in the box, okay? So here it is, I've got the magic box. Here it is here. And we've got the thing on here, it does the magic, no messing, straight into it. What's in the box? Here we go, the magic's done. Yeah, proper magic this one. Here we go, open it up, and what's in the box tonight... Yep, yeah, there we go, Christmas pudding. And I mean, that is a bit more festive than the carrot we had the other night. And that's it, basically. So we've got Christmas pudding. Now, normally I just, I don't know, go through some facts and that. I don't know much about it. All I can remember is when we were at school, they used to put coins in and a bit of silver foil and you'd be walking around the playground eating this. And then like, ah, and then that'd be it. you find a penny. I mean, absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't know, I think these... I think it is a British thing, or Irish and English, or whatever you want to call it. I think they sort of started it off. I don't know if anyone else has them. And basically, they brought spices back from the Crusades, and they whacked it in here. And it, well, it did have meat in originally, but now, it, now it's all fruit in it. Um, and that's it. So I need to say I'm getting bored, because it's day two, and I'm not set fire to anything, blowing anything up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare this, and then we're just going to light it like you do in a traditional way. So, see you in a second. Hello, yep, and um, we're back. Now, what I've done is I've just tried to get out the um, Christmas pudding into a tray so we can cover it in alcohol and that, and it was stuck in the thing. I think it's because it wasn't warm. I've just tipped it out and it's all stuck, so I've cut it with a knife. It looks a bit of a mess, but we've got, we've got the shape there, and I've got a sparkler there in the top, and I've got two candles over here. So, basically, what we need to do, I'm not wasting any liquor on it. So, what I've got here, have I got 90% alcohol? Oops. Lucky, and we just want a little bit of that over the top. I think this is what you got to do. Just it. This is strong shit. This is. So we're going to get that on. This on. So even though it's only a sparkler, I don't want to lose my eyesight. Right, I got that on then. Let's get a bit more on the spoon then. Warm him up. Oh. Is how we do it. Right, it's, you've got warm the alcohol up apparently. Oh, so it's caught straight away. Well, I'll just put them on there. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? That looks nice. I don't know if the sparklers catch him. more on oh fuck there we go proper job that's how you do it Jesus <coughs> okay now I don't know what's going on there anyway tune in tomorrow fucking I'm on fire I'm covered in shit Fucking hell. Right. Basically, I'm taking it outside because I don't want to burn the shed down. So yeah, what's in the box? Same time tomorrow. Proper job. <laughs> 